everybody, it's Eden, and who did I just sound like? Someone that isn't my channel. So, <laughs> I'm here with my baby sister. As you can tell, she's a baby, and she's going to school for fashion design. So today, she decided to style me. So, I have a question for you. What's the difference between styling a plus-size person and a straight-size person? Um, it's harder to style a plus size per a plus size person because you have to think about like how short it'll be or how like it'll fit them and like stuff like that and it's like say like with styling me I could wear like I don't I think like shorter stuff and it'd be like kind of fine but because you know mm -hmm. you have like a little bit more meat it's like it'll be probably way shorter on you yeah. than it'd be me so I kind of had to think about how it would fit you mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I feel like that's really important to think about if you want to style a plus size person because you can't just pick something that'd be like, oh, that look good on like a skinnier person. Like say mm -hmm. if I would, be, I'd say, oh, this looks really good on me and it's like a, a short dress. I'd be like, oh, get like a bigger size for like my sister. It probably would be way shorter so so what about like crop tops and like sheer things do you think plus size people like to wear stuff like that um th I mean they can if they want to like I do you <laughs> whatever mm -hmm. and it's like if you want to wear that if that's your style then just go for it mm -hmm. do you think it's harder to find cute clothes and plus size um I feel like it depends on where you look because I've like I've gone to stores or whatever and I'm like looking in the plus size section like with my mom or whatever and I'm like wow that's really cute they probably don't have it in my size though so it just depends on where you look because there's actually really cute stuff for plus size people if you look around. Mm -hmm. You follow Tess Holiday on Instagram what's your favorite thing about her as a plus size model? I'm putting her on the spot. She has no clue what questions I'm asking. Um, Tess. She, I admire her confidence because I know she gets a lot of hate. People are really rude. And it's just, she has a really good fashion sense. And it's just, <laughs> she's really pretty. <laughs> um, but. What, I'm not really pretty? She's prettier than you. <laughs> you butthole. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But <laughs> she's really pretty and I really admire her confidence and her, you know, she doesn't stop doing what she's doing just because of like some haters or whatever. And I really admire that. So what do you say to other plus size girls that may be out there that are afraid to wear things that might like show parts of their body that Tess would usually show or that I would show um, or branch out into styles that are traditionally shown on straight size bodies? Um, I would say just go for it. Like people, no matter what you do, people are going to judge you. So my motto is just, just go for it. And if people don't have anything to say, nice to say, then just <laughs> screw them. But I don't, I mean, it's your body. You can wear what you want and no one should tell you what you should wear because you know, <laughs> do you, do you think that there should be dedicated plus size sections or that brand should just make stuff available from like an extra small all the way up to like a 5X? Or do you think there should be like regular size stores and then like plus size stores like Torrid, like separated? Um, I feel like it'd be good to have like plus size stores because like I said, like there's some stuff for like skinnier girls that I guess like more like heavier girls can't really wear. So I feel like stores dedicated Two plus size, plus size girls would be good, but also I feel like brands should make clothing that range from like smaller sizes to bigger sizes. Yeah. So I'm kind of on both sides. And I think what she means by can't really wear is not like that you can't wear what you want. Yeah. Is that plus size clothes cut clothes specifically for plus size bodies. Yeah. So they know better what will fit plus size women versus a straight size um, store. They're just going to blow. She studies fashion, so she knows a plus si a straight size store is just going to blow up the thing. They're not going to account for a roll here and a lump and bump. They're just going to make 
the print bigger yep. which isn't going to fit a plus size body the way that it should so mm -hmm. that's what Kayla means so when you release your first fashion line will plus sizes be included definitely because you're going to be like the first person to wear them <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so we'll go through the few outfits I'll show you what she styled what were the three styles that you came up with um, a casual fall outfit, a more edgy out for the night with like the girls outfit, and a more business casual outfit. Mm -hmm. So was it hard to find stuff in my closet? Um, well not, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> not for me because you know like I know you and I know like what your sizes are and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, I did have a little bit of problems with the business casual outfit mm -hmm. but we kind of like worked through it boohoo boohoo makes their dresses so short that the two dresses she picked were like coochie dresses yeah so yeah <laughs> so but that, we, we settled on one yeah. finally that which was, i had no input she picked everything that was like the only thing that kind of like was off but other than that not really just because like you're my sister mm -hmm. but like if it were like a different like person like say like i don't know like a different person like notice mm -hmm. plus size it'd probably be a little harder for me just because i don't know like what... their comfort zone yeah do you think your perception on plus size people is different because you have a plus size sister mm, i don't know actually because like hmm i don't know how to answer that question <laughs> <laughs> i would say no because like i don't know like i feel like it wouldn't be any different if you were skinnier yeah so like i'm like my whole thing is just wear what you want do what yeah. you like style is style it's the way that you get to express yourself mm -hmm. you can be who you want and put out the image that you want through what you're wearing and you can be a total chameleon i hate when people say oh that's not my style anything can be your style and you can try out anything because people that are walking by you on the street don't know that that's not what you wear on a daily basis they just see you and they see a style and they might it might be a style that they want to emulate so it's really important to like experiment with style and get out of your comfort zone and um also style can be a tool for plus size women like like my sister said she styled me in certain things that she might not style other plus size women in because i'm comfortable showing my stomach i'm comfortable wearing mesh but style can be a way for you to get more comfortable with your body say you you love your neck area but you don't love your arms wearing a blazer with a dress can be a way for you to feel comfortable and confident without showing everything so fashion is really a way for you to build your confidence and show your confidence to the world anything to add mm, stay true to yourself don't try to fit into anyone's molds because that is bad i know <laughs> So now let's get into the video and see how my 16 year old sister styled me. makeup <laughs> but the first outfit is this stone wash denim vest and um, a black tank paired with some jeans and over the knee riding boots boots are from torrid jeans are from curvy sense top is from old navy and um, this denim is from curvy sense as well what was your thinking with this outfit go um, so it's starting to become fall with it being like October and everything so I wanted to do like a fall-ish casual outfit. A fall for Texas? <laughs> yeah, fall for Texas, but that's kind of the idea I had with that outfit. okay second outfit this jacket is from ashley neil tipton her brand 
bodysuit from Torrid, bralette from Torrid, and these leather pants, or leather in the front, ponty material in the back from Universal Standard. Take it away, sister. Alright, so with this outfit, I wanted to go for more of like a night out, kind of edgier. It's all black. <laughs> and I picked it because like, this is kind of, this is the style that I would wear. So, I thought it'd look good on my sister, so. Yeah. Bodysuits mesh, mesh train, who doesn't need a mesh train? And then a little bit of beanie to add some edgy to it. is a white collarless blazer with a ruffle um, what is this micromodal dress it has a lot of flare at the bottom and with a platform nude heel tell them all right so for this one I wanted kind of like a business casual like if you were going out to dinner with like your job or something it's not too fancy but it's fancy enough so Business casual. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Jaquela's right there. Um, until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, and don't take shit from anyone. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure you check all the links down below. Um, Kayla's YouTube channel will be there. The podcast, all of the relevant links. You can find me at Eden Jacks pretty much everywhere on the interwebs, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.